Hello, thank you for joining me for another video. Today's shaving video, which is kind of rare on a Thursday for me, but I've got some growth and I want to do a re uh, shave review of this Colgate um, shave stick that I picked up in that big razor lot that was uh, with that um, Canfee Brothers 1880. I scraped around the sides of the stick and uh, we'll see how it lathers here. For a razor today, I'm going to be using my uh, Canadian Pocket Old, or Old Pocket made in Canada, and as you can see, it's got bent teeth. So, just in case, I've got a backup, which is a Ball End Tech Predate Code, and I've got a Gillette Platinum loaded up in this. Uh, I've never tried anything really uh, on the top end of blades like... Uh, like that and then in this razor I've tried a derby in it and it sh uh, shaved good I also have a um I've got a Merkur super blade if that don't work uh what else using my my bore my VDH and uh, I've got lucky witch hazel and I've got Avon wild country vintage stuff for aftershave all right, let's get a uh, lather going here. Hope you guys have been well. Things have been good for me. I went to uh, Hannah for today and I've got a um, kind of bad news. I talked to an associate there and they told me they are not going to be carrying the uh, gem blades anymore. So I bought what they had, which was only one pack left. The gem uh, blue star blades. So I got to order them now on eBay or Amazon and I'm probably just gonna get the Persona Super Stainless. I like carbon but the price uh, for them coated PFE blades is pretty good. That seems to be uh, working. There's two gentlemen that are responsible, or actually I'll say three, that are responsible for me uh, getting into these vintage soaps. Because normally I just, I wouldn't think twice about getting them because they're old. And that's um, Jim Rowe, Fuzzy, and uh, Jim on uh, YouTube here. All right. He commented in my last video, Jim did that. There'd be nothing wrong with these soaps. And I'd say he's right, because uh, as you can tell, it's starting to lather with this boar. I'm gonna be doing that um, cleanup uh, video I promised you guys. I just gotta find a uh, Razor I'm kind of looking for. I've been looking on eBay a little bit. Something that's grungy, not a not a hundred percent, which I normally look for. A hundred percent, but I'm looking for something that needs some cleaning that just got soaps come on it. That's kind of hard to find because you either find something that's pitted to heck. Or something that's clean most of the time. All right, I'll call that good enough. Bore is uh, coming apart. All right, let's give this a uh, try. I might end up going to that tech, we'll see. No, nope, nothing wrong. Wow. Wow, this is shaving pretty good with this blade. I might have to look for an old. I'm 
Problem with most of the Gillette Olds is, is the handle crack the, uh, up here and down there because they're hollow. Now this one is the pocket, which has got a solid handle. I figured I'm using an old soap, use my oldest uh, double-edged razor. I have no idea when uh, when this would be around. These Canadian models, uh, it's, it's hard to do uh, find the info on them. Yeah, I think I'm going to, uh, I was going to look for a super speed, but you know what? I'm going to look for an old or a single ring. Just caught my lip there, making sure I didn't cut myself. I didn't, I got lucky. It's what I don't like about uh, this particular bathroom. You're, I'm quite far away from the, uh, the mirror. All right, let me get a, uh, another pass going here. A little bit of water to the brush. Ah, it's fading. You know what? I'll, uh... I have no idea how old this soap is, so I'm going to give it a pass on having to hit the, uh... Hit the stick again. I oh, almost put it in the, uh, dirty... There we go. Whoo, is that sucker aggressive? Wow. But like I said, it's got bent teeth, so that could be the reason why. And the blades were uh, thicker back then. And they only had um, three holes versus today's blades, which I have this... Uh, I like this. They've got all the different slots in them because uh, they the blades evolved over time. Yeah, I definitely will not be going against the grain on my upper lip. Well, this one. I'll just do side grain. Yeah. 
There we go. Do one last pass. This stuff is slick. And being its age, I would guess this would be a tallow base soap. Let me know below. Or, you know, I'll look on the... There are no... No, there's no ingredients. I'll check the box. I don't think this is... Uh, would be glycerin based. I don't know. Put it down below. Appreciate it. Okay. Last pass. Light, light touch with this one. I'm BBS on the neck already. Not so much up here. Yeah, I'm not risking it with this one. You know what? I'm going to load up the tech and uh, hold on. Let me get the washcloth. I don't uh, want to cut myself. There we go. I'm gonna use the tech on my upper lip. Video will be a little longer, I apologize. Oh, there went the base plate. Good thing. <laughs> Landed on the uh and both these razors uh pretty much uh load the same way. And here's a good time for me to actually to show you guys uh something. Here's the old with the uh, three hole with the, the three or yeah, it's got the two knobs there that hold it in. And then with the tech, it's got the bar that comes across. And that's where the bar corresponds to on the blade. And if you're interested in the, the core, there was a lot of... Uh, shenanigans going on in the 30s with um Gillette and auto strop and go check that out if you're interested and had to do with Henry Geisman of uh corporate espionage That's nice. Well, that's a BBS shave right there. Awesome. Got to work on my technique with that razor. Eventually, I'll be able to do cross the grain on the upper lip. All right, rinse off. Get the witch hazel on.
Alright. See any blood? No! Wow! No blood! Okay. Lucky Witch Hazel. And Avon Wild Country Vintage stuff from the chest set. And a nice small restrictor and it's glass. No burn. Good. Wow. Awesome. All right. Shave stick. Awesome. Uh, I'm giving it a pass with having to relather it a couple times. It's probably from the what, the 20s or the 30s? Or I mean, come on. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting it to to lather at all until you know them guys told me otherwise. So, and the Gillette, the Canadian pocket was okay with that uh, Gillette platinum, but uh, it's quite aggressive. Like I said. I'm going to look for a single ring or a U.S. made one, and that's what I'm going to do the cleaning with. So, all right, I'm going to keep you guys. I want to thank you uh, for watching. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. Next uh, shave will be up Wednesday for Williams Wednesday. Be doing it with, the, um, with that Gillette Super 84 adjustable. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys uh, know what I pick up. So... Yeah, I will catch you guys later, and happy shaves, and you guys have a great rest of your week and weekend. See ya. Bye.